Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome to Prey. So, a bit of full disclosure here, I did play this when it first came out. I never completed the game, but I kind of know the big twist. Um, I haven't really watched any playthroughs of this for the most part. Um, I played through like the start-ish area, starter area, got the glue gun or whatever, and then kind of, kind of dropped out of it over time. So, I thought playing this would be a good idea because A, one, it was suggested um, by a viewer, and second, it's kind of, kind of a direct uh, representation of where the legacy of System Shock, which we just finished playing the remake for. So moving from System Shock to Prey seemed like a logical choice. Um, this was made by Arcane. This is the good game made by uh, Arcane. Let's not talk about uh, Dead Redfall that just came out, but I'm kind of excited to get into this and actually, hopefully, complete the actual story this time around. So I'm going to go on... I don't really know if Nightmare is a good idea, all things considered, but I'm going to go in with Nightmare, trying it out. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be going for any of these survival mode things though. That's a little bit too much, I think. Like weapon decoration, traumas, and oxygen might be a little much. And I'm not allowed to change this after the screen. I'm just kind of taking a look at this. I'm like... Hmm. I don't know. Should I give this a try? This is not recommended for inexperienced players. I would be considered an inexperienced player. Well, I mean, all for it, right? I, I'm just going to pick the female one. I don't think it really matters, the gender. 2032. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. So you say. Oh, pre-order bonuses. I did no such thing. Hey, Morgan, wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I am uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. <laughs> like old times. Like old times. Okay. Um, I don't really remember all the controls. Like, the last time I played it was pretty much like 2017, 2018 when it came out. See, speech Synthesis and the Natural Language Generation. Excerpt from Chapter 3 of Speech Synthesis and Natural Language Generation by Sebastian Smythe. Voice conversion technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new source voices, without the need for exhaustive recordings and pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversion function and limitations in processing power. You know, actually, this is something that's been happening in real life these days, because you can now do, like, AI voiceovers, and um, you can kind of spoof a person's voice based on, based on using data from, like, recordings and stuff. So this is ahead of the times, I suppose. Uh, what, was my par what, what was my password? It was, like, P Paradox or something? Congrats and welcome from Thomas Tucker to Morgan Yu, CCing Alex Yu. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear that you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I'll see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources, Talos One Research Facility. Delivery. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. 
Install the NeuroMod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Alex. Ready? Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and, I, and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and you do what you tell me. And Right, so there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. What a nice brother. Hands-on electronics. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. I don't know if that's verified or not, but that's fine. So Morgan has some experience tinkering. And apparently I can just climb things. Which makes sense because uh, she'll be doing that a lot in this game, I think. I like that I have to like I have to have strength to carry heavier things, and I can just pick up stuff and throw them. That's pretty entertaining. Don't remember that being a thing. An account of Fermi's question. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun. Many of them are far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, and even probable, that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the ca entire galaxy colonized. The problem is, we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? Oh, there's a lot of books in here. Ooh. Uh, Midnight Songs. Oh. Tang Poetry by Wang Shijuan, Shihuan, Jihuan, eh, on the Stork Tower. I cannot read this. I can read little, a, li a little bit of it, but I'm not very good at it. Um, Principles of Neuroscience, uh, 10th edition. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes, such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell, paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Consciousness, the fire in the equations. You're getting a lot of stuff about, well, human consciousness and sentience, I guess. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons, or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Good question. And more engineering, so I think Morgan's an engineer then. Engineering control systems. There's a metaphor here, you know. Typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, which is the reference signal. The difference between the actual and the desired outputs, the error signal, is applied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. Very true. Interesting TV. Can't do anything with it. I have a game controller, which I never use in real life. Um, okay, I don't need to go through that. Turn on the sink, wonderful. No reflection. Too difficult to include. Time for a shower. I just realized... Okay, good. I'm not, like, completely naked. I was like, I didn't put on any clothes yet. <laughs> I'm just in my shorts, I guess. First day on the job. Okay. Uh, the method... Dots SCI. This is an excerpt from Architects of the Neurological Revolution. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself, maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Congrats, Morgan. Uh, thanks, Alex. I'll drink that. Oh, already drunk. One, one and done. 
I'm a lightweight, evidently. Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Well, I say a lightweight. A lightweight. Actually, I drank a full bottle of wine, so understandable. An excerpt from the entry in the Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking, 2033 edition by Elliot N. Shaw. Transglut Transglutaminase. TG or TGase. Don't, don't, don't expect me to know how to pronounce these words. A naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein-containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls, known colloquially by chefs as meat glue. Chef Shaw's tip. Gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Interesting. And chicken skin is always nice. Oh, this is like a wonton... Oh. Thing. Or not wonton. Uh, What's it? dim sum container I think or it looks like it I might just be stupid just ignore me can I go outside right now I can oh it's jammed never mind very nice view outside very nice view okay it's a little dirt oh another game that randomly tabs out I need to figure out the issue morning miss you Morning, Miss Very Loud Lady. You are incredibly loud. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to turn down the volume a little bit. I've already turned it down to like half. I don't know why that was so loud. Maybe this? I'm just going to turn everything down even further and just roll with it. See how it goes, I guess. I'm going to play around with like the balancing as well. Because I separate my audio, but... That still seems incredibly loud, doesn't it? Locked. Sure. Okay. Roof, please. Roof access. Nope. Time for a very nice intro sequence. Buckle in. Ms. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. You did not buckle in. Transstar facility is just a short hop. Bethesda software. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. The way they included all the product, not product placement specifically, but you know, the producers and everything is quite, quite good. Arcane Studios production. That's a nice view on the bay there. Right, of course. Just don't talk about their latest release. <laughs> oh, the poppin'. I guess we're landing on this building. Good stuff. Let's not talk about like the 2D birds, though. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about that. Here we are, Ms. Yu. Thank Mind you. the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Thank you. Report to the test center. Sounds like a plan. Hello, Dr. Yu. I forgot about these. Hello. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live reading. Why was that so muted? Nothing will be missed. Transstar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test. How much dialogue does this thing have? All our labs meet the minimum. 
The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. Okay, fine. The last fr What the hell? Um, The Last Frontier is the Human Mind, and we are its pioneers by William Yu. I assume that's a one of my parents, or... Probably not an ancestor. We're probably not looking that far back. So, probably parent, Welcome, grandparent. Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Uh, yes. Thank you. Which floor are we headed to? Ah, 71. Morgan. I can examine? Finally! Oh, well, that seems kind of pointless. Hello, brother. You're a big guy. Uh, you don't want to actually talk to me or what? Hey, oh. you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Sounds good. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. All right. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Okay. Listen. What? Just be yourself. I'll see you after. I find that unlikely. I wish I could show you what I've been working on. You better get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. Seriously, though, why is everyone's, like, dialogue so loud? Uh... How about, like, down here? How's that gonna look? Or sound? <sighs> it's still you. loud. It's still loud as hell. Okay. Uh, I've already read this. Nothing else to pick up at this time. We're still in the prologue, so... Hello, doctors. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this okay. first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Alright. Boop. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay. What now? Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. There's actually a fair amount of significance to this, but we won't really understand this until much later in the game, and I only barely understand it. Or rather, barely know about it. Hide. Look. Is she? Hmm. She's hiding behind the chair. What's wrong with that? Mm, uh, any synaptic register? At all? No? You didn't explain. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. All right. You're doing marvelous. So you say. Doesn't sound like I'm doing too good, but all right. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Go! I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. 
Did you double check? Speaker still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. It just occurred to me that the email said, hey, you should install that Neuromod, and I didn't do it. So. Significance. D. No chairs for me. I don't need to sit. Okay, never mind. I sit. Can Fine. someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Already done. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Okay. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Okay. Are you going to read this or... You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar that you know you love or try something new. <sighs> well, I'm sorry. Am I taking too long to read? Um, I don't Whenever really go to... Ready, Morgan. Yes, I go. I, I get it. I don't really go to too many places, so I'll go with new. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Uh, I assume I did a... I don't know. Sure, afraid. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Ah, uh, the classic question. Depends on if I know the person or not, right? Switch the tracks. Good. The greater Next. good. I don't know. Wait, what? An enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Murder for the five people. I mean... In the context of a video game, I'm just going to be like, Hey, let's go with five to one. In the context of real life, difficult question. Almost done. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Sorry, bud. You know what? I'd probably do the same thing. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a mm. moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Where's my coffee? It's empty. Oh, dear. Oh, my God! Security! Security! <laughs> uh... All right, I've been gassed. So yeah, this game is all about like mimics and stuff, so there are absolutely going to be plenty of moments where I'm going to get jump scared. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Hey, we're back. I think things are going to be a little a little more iffy this time though. I just realized that she has some nice flats. Um, okay, I'll take more of this. I don't know if I actually get to keep that or not. I've already read all this. F Paradox. Huh. Six emails. Uh-oh. Danger, leave now. Oh. Seems good. Lucky's Pizzeria. I'm not going to read the first word because it might come out sounding very incorrect. Um... Congrats, Morgan. Thank you. It's on a different table this time. Anything else I can pick up? I'll take those. I'll take those. Um, see if there's anything. Have your last shower before everything goes to hell. Wonderful. Oh. 
Neuromod application instructions. Warning. Neuromods should only be ex uh, administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. 1. Remove the Neuromod from vacuum sealed container. 2. Press the rubberized eye cup firmly against the bony orbit of the eye socket. 3. Keep the eye open. 4. Depress the orange release trigger and continue to hold the Neuromod against the eye for 5 minutes. 5. Dispose of the used Neuromod in the provided biohazard bag. Well, you know what they say about your eye getting swollen. Um, interesting closet door. I did not see this last time. Some uh, red lucky pockets, red pockets. Is the Chinese New Year? Great Wall of China, Candy Space Center. Purse, makes sense. A shoe. Okay. I'll put this on. What was that sound? Part of the walk. Cooking from a well-seasoned walk can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal it is tasked to cook. That's a nice way of putting it. So if memory serves, I can now break things. Okay, thanks for the... Thanks for the scare cord, guys. Oh. Is there a battery to this? I'll take the wrench. I'll go back to playing Bioshock. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Yeah, you can like instantly climb out, which is hilarious. You can literally break out of anything, right? Like, is this real? Okay, that's real. But some of this is all fake. Yeah, this is all fake. And this is all fake. And there's your reveal... ...that it was all a lie. Good. Lovely. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. So... Oh. So exploration is a huge deal in this one, I believe. Like, there's a lot of, um... High, or upwards traversal. Oh, like there's a lot of verticality to the level design and everything. This is really cool too, the way that they implemented this. Quite nice. Um, yeah, so they were just, they were, <laughs> they were just recording you and watching you the entire time. But I've got to watch out for all of the, uh, the mimics. You never know what's a mimic. If you see more than one thing, you've got to be careful. Um, okay, so February 22nd is 2035, so it's been a thing for three years. Uh, sleeping till 7.30, wakes up and turns off the alarm at 7.31, 7.32, checks the transcribe. 34 to 55, on computer, various tasks. 8.04, takes a shower. 8.26, puts on the uniform and exits the apartment. I assume this is the actual date that we're on then. So it's February 23rd, 2035. Okay. Tape drive. I think I need to play around with the sensitivity a li little bit. Not... where is it? Oh, I can change the difficulty, I think, but I don't want to touch it right now. Um... How do I... yeah. How do I change... there you are. Sensitivity up, please. That might be a bit too much, but we shall see. Okay, that is that is a bit quick and would be disorienting to anyone watching, so uh I'll turn it down a little bit. Let's do that. This is a bit smoother for me. I just have to turn it a little bit slowly, but I think this is alright. Please let me know if it's too much and it makes you um uncomfortable. 
Okay, I can climb things, right. All right. Off we go then. Soundstage rules. Absolute silent silence. When simulation is in progress, do not enter the stage unless in costume. Do not interact with the subject off script. Soundstage A. Reminders. Always reset the position of stage props in an apartment after each test. Replacements for damaged props can be found in the storage area. Be careful not to bump the glass when in observation stone the zones. Soundstage B. Reminders. The helicopter ride looking glass sequence should only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Always return the helicopter to its ready position after being serviced. I think this is the uh, the window I just broke through, right? Yeah, I broke through this. Was there actually water already, or is it just... Okay, it's just leaking. Cannot carry that. Simulation labs. Replacement prop storage area. Okay, lots and lots of the sparkling. Any one of these tissues could be a mob. Could be a monster. Anything here could be a monster. This just opens up back into. Yep. Where to go? Nope. None of that. None of that. Go away. Typhon organ. Mimic tumor. Apparently, I'm not allowed to have it though. Interesting. Coffee table. Don't really want to pick that up. Oh yeah, my flashlight. Maybe I should just have that on then. Open the door, please. Nope. You are not looking too good, Pat Patricia. Nope, not looking good at all. Sorry about that. It's kind of what happens when um, the mimics get you, I suppose. Okay, some of the doors are jammed. Got it. Thank you. Boop. Oh. Just another hidden door. Fine. The wrench. The Hephaestus Heffy Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is standard issued to all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar facilities. It's good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Use mouse 1 to swing the wrench. Important. Press and hold mouse 1 to charge your attack for maximum damage. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. That makes sense. You're telling me that because there's an enemy, isn't there? Nope. You can't stop me from swinging at everything. Okay, so this is where I came out earlier. There looks like there's a computer in here that I want to kind of look at. Oh, this is the testing zone. Okay. I kind of also want to go in there as well. I think that's the right way to go, so. The safe code is... Scratched away, so I don't actually know it. Computer... Don't like the sound. Note. Delivery for debrief. Um, just SKU stuff. Yeah, it's not. That's whatever. Note. Password is ICOP0876. This is Marco Simmons' passcode. Reminder about company password policy. <laughs> this is a friendly reminder about the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Password protection. Do not share your password with anyone. Passwords are sensitive, confidential information. Passwords must not be inserted into email messages, transcribed conversations, or any other forms of communication. Do not write the passwords and store them anywhere in your office. If you suspect your password has been compromised, report it to IT immediately. Users will be held responsible for any activity that occurs on our workstation that has been compromised and not reported. A note about this morning from Alex Yu to the Neuromod Division. All. I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. That is a complete lie. We know he totally died in front of us. Bad install. From Alex Yu to Marco Simmons. Simmons. The test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority, Alex. Well, the funny thing is... Oh, the code is here. Um, I don't think we installed the neuromod, so we didn't do what we were told to do. 
Because they were like, hey, you should install your Nier mod like right away when you, uh, when you wake up. And I didn't do it. So, yeah. Um, how do I get up there? I know there's a way. There must be a way. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess there's nothing to do but to move on forward. I'm sure I'll find my way up there eventually. So this is the, uh, the fake elevator that just changes between the floors. This is the fake... Yeah, this is the residential tower to the Trans Star. This is the fake um, helicopter pad. Yeah, they had a recording that was saying all this stuff. You can break through the glass and just go wherever. Which is really cool in this. What's not really cool is the idea that there might be a mimic around the corner everywhere you turn and look, but... Anyway, I guess I'm just going to go through the Transtar door again. The scenic route. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I like that it flips everything over to like kind of turn into a different uh, location for you. So if I hit confirm again, is it going to change again? It is. Oh, and then it closes the door because, ah, uh, it's not even like a real elevator. Yeah, when you came in, the droid was here. You talk to the droid and then you turn, enter the elevator to go up, or sorry, to go down. Cool. Were the marks always on the floor? I think that's a valid question, but hmm. I can actually enter through here now. Uh, I see you over there. And then it turned into another chair. Got it. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Yeah, I hear you. Ooh, I'll take that. Quick select. Quick select menu allows you to quickly alternate between weapons and powers. Assign weapons and powers. So what is this? Quick select. Um, favorites wheel, select the item or skill, then pressing a number key to assign. Okay. Uh, how do I pull up the item? Oh. I don't think I really need to quick select this right now, though. I'll keep this on one. I'll keep just this in my inventory and leave it. Oop. Okay. Oh, you broke out. Ah! None of that. Nothing to pick up. Okay. Nothing in here. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. Transcribe. Marco Simmons. Alex. Simmons? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Utilities. Scene selection. Note. Authorized scene transition times include when subject MU is inside the elevator during maintenance operations between test runs. Report any technical issues immediately to Dr. Sylvan Bellamy. Okay. Yep, I got this already. Okay. Test management. Reset the test rooms to current configuration. Test rooms affected. A, B, and C. What's the purpose of that? I don't know. So, the room is prepared. Okay. Let me go back to the email. A note about this one. Oh, okay. It's the same note. Got it. Uh, there's another computer here that I want to see. This is Jiao, Jiao Long Hang's email. Note about this morning. Morgan's behavior. Alex has requested all orders to go through him about Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated that he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we... 
Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift between future tests in debriefings and within the test itself, Bellamy. So they've been testing us for a while now. Quite some time. Uh, this will let me back up. Don't think there's anything here. Exit to lobby, skill recorder, and stage B control room. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so this is the upper level of uh, what I was talking about then. What's with the sound effect? Now we are above our own room. Lovely, lovely. Does this open up? Decontamination does open up, but I kind of want to go here before I go in there. I saw that. Thank you. What's my status? What was that? Was that just my heartbreak? Uh, my heartbreak. My heartbeat spiking or what? I'll take that. Why did he twitch? Why did he have to twitch? I'll pick you up. I don't know why I'm picking you up. Hiya. I can just throw bodies apparently. Don't ask me why. Uh oh. Yep. Thank you. Uh, okay, to reset. Simulation scene. Server statuses are okay. What's the power? Looking glasses on. Ah, uh, yes, the fake, the fake backdrop, with various broken windows now because I have been having too much fun down there. Um, simulation scene. Echo on roof. Nice. I think I messed myself up by doing that. Did I want the Echelon roof? Or did I want the Transtar roof? I don't remember. Anyway. Let's keep moving forward. Let me go through the decontamination room because I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Frankly. Oh, ah! Sorry, bud. I don't know what the hell he did to you, but that does not look good. Did it just... Oh, good. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Only approved items past this point for the simulation. I'll take whatever that was. A Psy Hypo. Petri dish. I guess the Psy Hypo would be considered, um... The Psy Hypo would be the Eve. Basically, it's an Eve Hypo. And energy in uh, in System Shock. Okay, there's definitely going to be Mimics back here. Computer, Mixer, Filter, Remote Manipulation. Okay. You're just a normal chair. Emails. Next week's test. Joven, we'll need the room updated to the new test plan. Configurations are as follows. A. Area of effect. B. Copycat. C. Spooky action. Simmons, let me know if anything changes. Urgent. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry wait, what? and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the keycard to his cabin off his body. The corpse vanishes. Great. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone finds that data. Marco Simmons. Can I check my quests? I can. Uh, audio logs. I can replay them? I think so. Objectives. There we go. I'm going to do the side quests. Always do the side quests. Uh, play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by A. Searching for the keycard. B. Finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. That's the joy of this game, I think. It just lets you experiment. It lets you run around, do your own thing, and experiment. There's definitely a mimic in here. Yep. No, you don't.
Uh, okay, let me quickly... Human eye. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Um, error. Now, if I had this skill, I could do it, but I don't have the skill. I don't need the crumpled paper, I think. I'm good. Email simulation question to Alice Eichen. Hey, Alex. I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's a nutshell version for now. Gaining a new skill from a neuromod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible, for now, to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neuromod that makes you play piano, like Gustav Leitner, it will reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuromods. That means going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. Yous are dedicated to their science, is all I can say. Hit me up for lunch later, Simmons. Caleb Hawthorne, Neuromod Design. Dr. Sylvan Bellamy, the Neuromod Division Director. Wonderful. Yeah, yesterday, or the 23rd is was yesterday, so today's the 24th. I failed all of it. Got it. I don't know why I picked up a lemon peel, but it is what it is. I will take that key card, thank you. Uh, personality drift results. Here are the results from today's personality test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results. This isn't the first time. I'll let Alex know. Most recent test is pasted below for reference. This is the one I just did. I heard a, a mimic, I think. Daily tests. Dr. Bellamy, at this point Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely, we're likely inflicting on the constant Neuromod installation or removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely, Evelyn. R.E. Have my people been coming to you? From Matthias Cole to Sylvan Bellamy. Syl? Yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know, I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse with the psychotronic staff. I'm talking to Kelstrup about in mitigating some of the stress there, but I'm concerned that these are not isolated incidents. I'm going to mention it to Alex at the next director's meeting. Matthias Cole. Okay. Um, so now I, I could go through that door, but I also now have the key card required. Whoa! I don't know where it went. Stand-up notes. Test for March 24th. Reorder the test. Lucia on observation. Flammability tests are cancelled indefinitely. And Alex wants to greet Morgan before the test. Sure. Uh, where did the mimic go? Yep. No. None of that. Thank you. I'm just going to open this up in case there's loot. And I was right. There was loot. I'm thinking I have to play smart, like with Bioshock 1 um, on the max difficulty. Just like throw these around and blow things up if I can. Save myself the ammo and do a ton of damage to the enemy at the same time. Can I do a quick save? I can. Excellent. What is that? Oh, I don't like it. That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Thank you. Keep moving. Uh, I will. The Noetic Field. Noetic research, like all bold new ideas, has undergone a predictable pattern in the science community. First, skeptics ri ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics grudgingly concede the idea might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. That's uh, pretty normal, though. That's pretty accurate, actually. I'm just going to keep this with me because I'm going to throw it at the big enemy the moment I get near it or see it. Hello, Mimic. I see the HP bar popping up. Oh, it's frozen. Thank you for the glue gun. Oops. It's empty. I should probably assign it to something. The glue cannon. The Transtar glue cannon, jello foam lattice organism obstructor, 
disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. So that's basically, you can make a stairwell using it. Uh, I'm going to sign it. No. How do I... How do I sign it, though? Menu. I, I could upgrade it. With what? Weapon upgrade kits? Okay. I thought I was supposed to be able to assign these, though. There we go. So now it's going to be locked to... Oops. So just to test. Good. What am I doing with this? I do not have repair. Many objects on Talos 1 can be repaired if you have the right repair skill and enough spare parts. To repair an object, hold down the G button under until the repair is completed. Okay, but I don't have the skill. And I have an explosive canister. I'll take those. You don't need them anymore. Um, Yeah, I can basically climb... Oh, I can climb up there if I wanted to now. Because I can... Do that. Oh wow, that's that's a glob. I saw you. I see you over there. I don't like seeing you over there. There you go. Thank you. Morning. Yeah, I see you. There, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally but there's multiple. It's a fake but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already you. updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. The list I requested? Oh, it occurs to me I never went back to uh, unlock that, that chest. None of that, please. Oh no, I missed. That slows them down, so that's fine. Okay. Go away. Ow! They jump far. Don't like that. Ow, stop that. Okay, die already. How do I heal? How much healing do I get? How much healing do I get when I... I guess I can eat one of these. Uh, eat. Thank you. I can just double click, so that's fine. How's my health? 59, okay. I'll just keep eating all the stuff I have. What's this? Shotgun shells. Oh! Um, I'm gonna have to get in there eventually. There's a weapon mod on the ground, I think. You're a mimic. Thank you. Uh, conference room. There's definitely a mimic in here. No. No. Okay, fine. Fine. Transcribe Robert Gage. Robert? Alice! Thank God, no one else is- Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't- Jesus! You're still in the lab? Projector colors are still wrong, Dr. Igwe. I can't get out! Wow! Oh. There's- What the hell is security? I'm gonna die. I don't die. know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. <gasps> Robert? Shh! Hang on. Someone's- Well, uh, time to use a health kit. Use it, please. Better than nothing. That was a little scary. <laughs> Another one. Run at it! Okay, thank you. Anything else? Or are we clear? We good? I think I should still pick this up. Because there is definitely a big boy somewhere around here. I wish I could run with this, but... It's fine. 
I'm gonna drop it right here. The Neuro mod. Maybe after I... I was gonna say, maybe after I check the restroom. Ow. What did I even pick up? Shotgun shells. I can't carry this yet. Yeah, I cannot clear this unless I uh, upgrade some of my skills. There's two of these, so one's a fake. Yep. Where'd he go? Uh, body? Thank you. Oh yeah, so everything gets fuzzy when I get, um, when I have too much adrenaline, which makes sense. I'm not picking that up. Hello? Okay. Nice, synthetic material. If I just keep drinking over and over, that heals me, right? But it's only healing like one at a time. So I could just stand here and just repeatedly heal, but it's a little bit slow. But free health is free health, and I can't look a, a gift horse in the mouth, you know? Okay, I'm going to stop at 62, because it's not going to be the most interesting thing in the world. Neuromod, please. Neuromods and abilities. The Neuromod is a revolutionary Transstar invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press N to open your transcribe and navigate to the Neuromod section. Sure. Ah, okay. Engineer or security. What is this? Security is to boost your physical abilities, skill with firearms, and security tactics. Conditioning. Increase your health to 115 and your stamina to 105. Run, sneak, climb, and sprint. 5% faster. Tempting. Oh, they're scientists, too. And engineer. Okay. Engineer. Specialize in modifying your gear, repairing, and crushing problems with your wrench. I kind of want to be a melee guy, but we'll see. Scientist. Use knowledge of science, medicine, and specialized lab equipment to your advantage. I need to get hacking. Yeah, hacking is basically mandatory, I think, because I need to get into these rooms. Bypass level 1 security measures on computers and robotic systems. I kind of want that, but another part of me wants repair as well, which is here. Oh, and then I have to use spare parts to repair damaged weapons, too. That's something I'm going to have to consider. That's going to be really annoying. This might screw me, but I think hacking might be the one to go with. And this is going to be quite unpleasant, I think. Aren't you supposed to hold it before you press the button? Wonderful. Thanks for that. Improvisation has always been your strength. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Sounds like a plan. It's going to open up once we do that. Skill recording room. Restricted access. See security for clearance. I can probably get up there, too. If I really wanted to, I can make a bridge. I don't know if that would be sequence breaking or not. I'm just going to save and try it out. How bad is this? This is just fine. I can just get up and over. Yep. And now I'm in the upper area. I mean, I don't, I don't have the, uh, the key codes or the skill yet, but that's okay. I'll take that. Okay, you're real. You're real. These are elevators that are non-functional at this time, so maybe don't jump into an open elevator shaft. What's in here? Nothing. Okay. Moving on. Um... Let's see. Anything I can actually access at this time or no? What did I just run past? I'm not sure. Cannot access the unpowered door, volunteer quarters. Oh, hello. Another Neuromod? No, stun gun. Intriguing. But it's only at 45%. Disruptor stun gun. The Disruptor Stun Gun will knock out human targets. Typhon are more resistant, but can still be temporarily stunned. Robotic devices can also be temporarily disabled, but ultimately destroyed by the Disruptor. Okay. 
So, using this as the non-lethal approach for human enemies. I do vaguely remember that being a thing. I don't know why I'm picking up banana peels. I think I can, um... I can destroy them. I can't actually access this unless I have a carry weight. Yeah, no, okay. Welcome, volunteers! Yay! How nice. How lovely. Okay, so I came up here for no reason. Because I can't actually access any of these doors yet. But the point is, hey, if you want, you can find ways up. And I just wanted to kind of showcase that a little bit. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, no fall damage? Okay. I'll take it. I thought I was going to take some damage there, but... Yeah. What? Favorites wheel. Your favorites wheel allows you to quickly select and use weapons, and eventually, psi powers. Press mouse wheel to open the favorites wheel and select a weapon or item using mouse wheel. Press mouse 1 to equip a weapon. You can also consume medikits and psi hypos from the favorites wheel. What is that? This? Oh, yes, you can just hit shortcuts to use the stuff, but I don't know what some of these items are. Which is not helpful. Like, I don't know what C is. Like, that yellow thing? I don't know what that is. I guess I should look in my inventory. This thing. Crispy frites. Oh, it's just food. Okay, sure. Why not? Gonna quickly save and open to the lobby, please. Oh, this is a new zone. Am I happy with having explored, like, with this area? I don't think so. I feel like there must be a way to get into that um, locked safe. I'm going to run back real quick just to see if there's anything I can do. I have hacking now, though, so I can get in here. What? Hacking. The hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems, protecting keypads, workstations, and security stations. At higher skill levels, you can hack into robotic systems such as turrets and operators. To hack, use WASD to quickly navigate the bitstream to reach the target. Once inside the target, press the prompted button to complete the hack. Okay, seems easy enough. Uh, dead. Okay, sure. I'm glad I doubled back before I left. Weapon upgrade kit, thank you. Can I upgrade the wrench? Can I just make the wrench better? Uh. Is that a no? There you go. Menu. I cannot upgrade the wrench. Fair enough. No password found. Well, that's no good. Is there a note around here somewhere? Also, my flashlight. I keep forgetting about it. Oh, yes. Reminder to bring the turrets up to fabrication. Sure. Oh, hello there. Hmm. That doesn't get me into the pass... Manual override? Huh. But no, that doesn't actually get me the password to this, so... Security stations track all the employees on board Talos 1. That's okay. I have no repair yet. Can't get through there. Can't get through the skill recorder analysis, so I can't get in there. Can't do much of anything, actually. I guess I'll just have to ask them to let me back in here. Please and thank you. Because I think there was a, um... There was definitely a... A computer here that I could hack into. Was it you? Yeah. I wonder what you're hiding on your computer. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. Thank you. Files. Huntress Boltcaster. For fabrication plan for the Huntress Boltcaster V1.3. Change log. Noise reduction on trigger action. Still a bit too clacky for my tastes. Decreased weight while retaining structural stability. No more barrel splintering. Finalized name of the Huntress Boltcaster, rejected Clive's suggestion of Pain Thrower, and Franklin's Excruciator. I'll take that. So I can make one later. Email. Igway's talk. Tell me about it. I don't know what scares me more, the time Dr. Wiggy spends in the lab or when he takes the stage. It's like listening to a metronome. From Caleb Hawthorne to Dad Hadley Dalton about Igwe's talk. I'd join you in the cafeteria, but Igwe's got a lecture scheduled. Here's hoping he gets right to the Neuromod update so we can do a proper eval on the tech side. But you know Igwe. He'll go Zerner, Zenner on us for an hour until we're all seeing circles and wavy lines. You'd think he would have learned Earthside to stay focused. 
Okay, fair enough. That was all that could be gleaned from that. Typhon parts. Already been in here. I wonder what the safe password is, though. I still kind of want to see if I can find out. Because there's definitely part, like, you know, like the upper area here uh, on the vents and the pipes that I have not explored. Some lower area here that I've also not gone to. Well, that, that's my room, but... Hmm. Oh, hello. Thank you, thank you. So, is there no fall damage in this? I guess I'm going to test it again. Oh no, there's fall damage. Time to load. I just got lucky last time then. <laughs> okay, so uh, maybe don't do what I just did. Maybe go down the normal way. Like a well-adjusted individual. There we go. Um, now where's the trans star door? I think it's actually over here. That's why there was a broken broken glass. Uh it was through here, the doorway then? That's not the doorway. The doorway's over here. But it's possibly behind a wall right now. There it is. But I've already been through this side, haven't I? Definitely missing something. Oh, hello. Did I go through there? Yeah, that's my room, so I've definitely been there. I've already checked all these. Hmm. Just some running around on my end now. Sorry, guys. I just really want to get into all the safes. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's further up ahead than I thought. It's entirely within the realm of possibility. I can climb up here, too. Which is kind of cool. Not sure what I'll find up here. Or if there's anything to get up here at all. But the fact that it's traversable is... A nice plus. Again, though, it doesn't seem like it's actually giving me anything. So... I could possibly climb that. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Hmm. Fine. I, I'm just gonna go forward. Maybe I'll find the password another time. In another location. Oh, what the heck? Interesting. It's, uh... Smash resistant. Anything up there? No? Okay. And all this would do is bring me up to the floor that I already experienced, so... That's fair. I'll just have to come back later. Because clearly there are definitely some areas that I don't have access to right now. Okay. Yes! New items have been added to the unique container in your office. Thank you. You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? Could I be? Oh boy. Yep, we're in space. We're lost in a space station. Palace 1 lobby. So basically this is System Shock, more or less. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's not good. Explosive decompression? Great, we're losing parts of the facility, too. Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. I like that we actually have a shadow in this game as well. I keep getting disappointed when there are games that, there are, that, that just don't give you a shadow. Something's moving.
Okay, where do I want to explore? Hmm. Psychotronics is probably one of the main areas. I need to find my own offices. But I'm not 100% sure where that is. So I'm just going to go into the exhibit, learn a little bit more about the location and the company. Phantom? Oh. Uh, I don't have any explosives to fight him right now. That's not good. Can I even fight a phantom right now? I don't think so. I have no guns. Okay, I can lean. Okay, good. Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to Muster uh, Station did he fall down? immediately and await further instructions. Okay. Talos 1 becomes full. Okay. Hiya, 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 hi. Okay, I'm dead. Game's over. Well done, me. Okay, so stealthing up to the enemy is an option. Oh boy. But maybe not the best choice. Okay. How about this? I'm very tired. I am out of energy. Run! Uh, okay. Gonna have to do that again. Okay, that killed me. Got it. Okay. Um, the problem is, my ammo is going to be very limited. And I actually run out of stamina really quickly, so I can't just spam. I cannot just spam attacks. So I've got to be careful about that. Attention. Okay, not good. Where'd you go? Should report to muster stations immediately Where'd you go? Wait further instructions. Not happy about that. What? Wow, okay, I suck. I'll figure this out. Come on, let me sneak up behind you. Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report okay, to knocks him down. stations immediately ah. and await further instructions. Ah. Okay. I mean, it did eventually work out, but it was not great. Uh, I'll use a health kit. Maybe another health kit. Okay, so my healing options are limited already. My, uh, I have no actual gun. Uh, it's starting off a little bit awkward. But that's okay. Time for more neuromods. Give me repair. Thank you. And then I might pick up the strength one as well. So I can throw some of the stuff out of the way. Uh, in the other level. Okay. Use cigar. Don't need that. I mean, I picked it up. I That better not give me health. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of that is, but sure. Yep, there's a Transtar uniform. The Psychoscope is... Oh, that's the thing in the loading screen. Got it. Okay, so 20, I should... 20, 25, uh, 19, 19, 19. Okay. I think I went in from the wrong side. There's security. Uh... Game just paused. Oh, there's a lot of them. That's actually a lot of them. I don't like that. Nope. I should breathe. Back away. Get some of my stamina back. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, nice. Nice. There's one more. Out. Okay, well, um... Does not solve my problem of having no healing. And, uh, frequently at risk of death. 
But that's okay. If it becomes too hard, I guess I can turn down the difficulty a little bit. I'm just making my life quite dif Oh. Well, at least I know it's there now. Um, survivor's account of the evacuation, day one. Day one. I had dropped off my dog at the groomer. Her name was Eliza. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get another cafe to get some cafe bots near the park. Some jets flew over, very low, and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were from, but they were bristling with bombs and rockets. Everyone was looking up, and the sound of the jets was echoing off the buildings, but we could not see them anymore. The sky was clear, and I could see pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium. When the sirens started, I had not heard them since my childhood. Oh, then the sirens started. Some people stood confused, but my instinct told me to run. Run away from the stadium. Run away from Eliza. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It was not military, I'm certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched, it turned into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. Interesting. I kind of want to read more about this. I have no idea what the context is. I just picked up crumpled paper. Lovely. Okay. 1963. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. Alternate history, of course. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next-generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy, so JFK survived in this universe? 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. Mm -hmm. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. Legit. 2030. Talos 1 becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. 2020, okay. 19, 8, 19, 19. So that's the history of Transstar. Uh oh. Hello. Nope. Nope. How dare you dodge? <sighs> Hmm. Explosive canister. Would have been nice to know about that too. I have to keep my eyes open. Turret. Yeah, but that's probably not on my side right now, is it? Or is it? Is it on my side? Seems to be fine. Okay. Good to know that's there. Wish I knew that earlier. Thank you. Suit repair kit. Uh, is my suit in trouble? Do I need that? Um. Whoa! Okay, so that will kill the Typhon. That's good for me. Thank you. I'll eat that. I'll also take that. Is that a passcode? Trauma center. Thank you. Okay. Can I just live next to the turrets, please, from now on? That'd be really nice. Main lift. Obviously, I can't access that. Um, let me check security. This seems like a logical first place to stop. I know I can now access the trauma center, which is on the second floor, but if going in here finds me more... Oh, I'm not going to have access, am I? No, I'm not. Fine. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. Transtar exhibit. Let me check the other side before I go up. And I'll just run back here if I need any help. I'll take that. I'll eat that and drink that. Okay, we're at full health. Restrooms, always a good thing to look for. You are legit. 
You have nothing back here. All right. Trash bin. Kind of pointless, but sure. Nothing's doubled up in here. This door opens. Employee orientation. And this is psychot psychotronics staff only. Got it. Open, please. Okay, there's probably mimics. Save myself the energy and run right here. Hello. Hello. Perfect. Thank you. So, uh, are we clear in here now, or no? I think we're good. I like- Or we're not good! That was a fake! That was a fake Psy Hypo, how could you? How could you give me false hope like that? Neuromods and compensation. Trans start. It came back inside, didn't it? That- it's the trash bin, isn't it? Where'd he go? I see you. None of that, please. Oh wow, what? You knocked over the real one. Did I just pick up a chair? I hope not. Okay, I don't know where the chair went though. I I I lifted it and it went away. Oh, I dropped it. Okay. Cuz I hit F like multiple times. I'm just like, what? Uh, let me read this real quick. Transfer employees who perform at exemplary levels are also eligible to receive neuromods. Oh, compensation. That's all it is. Okay, so there was nothing really in here. Just a trap. Fair enough. And where is this? Psychotronics. Can I get in? No, I cannot. Okay, that's fine. I guess my only way up, um, the only place I can go to, it to is the trauma center then, on the second floor. Moving forward, what else we got? I hear a mimic. Uh oh, ow! Okay, I'm out of energy. Maybe I should dip out while I can. Run! Turrets, help me please. Thank you. I'm also going to back away so I don't get hit by the explosives. Nice. I lost some health, but I think that was... That went fairly well. I am playing like a coward, but I'm on the hardest difficulty. That's my excuse. And I'm sticking with it. Trauma Center. I do have access now. Staff Lounge. Doors screwed up. Okay. Let me see if there's anything I can pick up on the upper level as well. Video files over there. So I guess my office is here. Yeah, the executive offices. Okay. Now, I know there are some pre-order items in here that will make the game easier. I don't know how I feel about that. I like the video file. Or, not video file. I like that there's a turret here, though. That's helpful. And Methuselah Apple. Thank you. Another trauma center tag. Email. Volunteer attitude. Miss Goodwin, I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 7249, not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Security offer John Haskins. The volunteers are agitated. So maybe if I double back, the key code will be 7249. Do I have to take notes on that? I'm actually going to quickly write down a note. 7249 volunteer area. Just in case this is going to be like, it's not going to save or something. Meeting Gustav. Oops. Oops. Um, okay, thank you. From Bianca Goodwin to Dr. Igwe. Dr. Igwe, I relayed your previous request. Oops. And we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for face to face. The code to your office is 0451. Thank you. I'll let you know when I have more details. Miss Goodwin, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. 
Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I would love a chance to meet him. Before the neuromatting procedure, if possible. Leitner's visit. Yeah, Igwe showed up, quiet and polite. He shook Leitner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him. Asked him to sign an album he'd brought. Leitner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. Ellen. Okay. 0451, as you say. Hello, hello. Thank you, turret, for being so awesome. Good. I would hope not. Uh, I will eat that banana. Jason Chang is locked. Hello. OMG, hot boss. That's my secretary, isn't it? <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Email. Kiko changed. Jason, the maintenance screwed with the keypad to my office. Had them set it to 0451. I'll be in the sim labs for a while, so if you need anything, help yourself. Okay. Let me in. Oh. Nice. Your office. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. French fabrication. Morgan U. Sweet keycard. Nice. I'm just going to take all this stuff, by the way. This is the fabricator, this is the recycler. Got it. Place the items in the bin. Um, transfer junk, please. Nice. Boop. This is pretty much like the one that was in uh, uh, System Shock, I feel. What am I fabricating? Huntress Bolt Caster. Please and thank you. I have no ammo for it, but that's okay. Huntress Boltcaster. It launches, launches foam darts that do zero damage, also known for its ability to annoy co-workers, distract enemies, and remotely trigger buttons and screens. That's that's going to be the main point of it. Use mouse 1 to fire your toy gun and R to reload. Alright. I can't make ammo for it, though. I can make a wrench at any time, but I already have one equipped, so there's no point to it. This is probably the pre-order safe right here. There's our family. Lovely, lovely. We look so happy. Such a fun and happy family. Look at us. Anyway. Um. Oh, that's fine. And a weapon upgrade kit. That's fine. That's not that's not as bad as the um what I was fearing. I think there's actually a shotgun in the locker somewhere as well. I think it's this. This is the pre-order one. Yeah. Would it be cheaty if I picked this stuff up? I feel like it might be. I actually also don't know how much of this is from the pre-orders and which ones were already in here. So if I leave the shotgun and pick up the rest of this stuff, I assume I'll be okay. I don't really know. Hmm. Well, feel free to leave a comment, I guess, on this occasion because I don't know what I want to do with this stuff. I'm actually going to call it here in that case before I watch the video, so... We'll continue this next time. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with Ray. And I hope you're as excited as I am to continue playing the game. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.